John and fellow Plexers. Today we're going to help John hopefully solve a embedded subtitle issue. I know it's not external subtitles. He's having problems with on-demand subtitles and I think that's just a clunky feature of Plex client apps that nobody should use. So what I've learned so far is John doesn't have external subtitles, doesn't have time to get them because he's got to throw the cat off his lap and he needs to check his media to see if he's got embedded subtitles and learn all about that side of subtitles. So when he acquires a new movie, I think his neighbor next door is ripping his Blu-rays for him, he can make sure that any embedded subtitles are labeled properly or flagged properly for Plex. So I've got an example video. Let me start it up and pause it. We'll look at the subtitle tracks in VLC, and we have a whole bunch from Danish through Swedish, and we also have three English subtitles, just as my server wants it because it'll automatically play the fourth subtitle. So let's go look at that. Let's open the container up. I'll right click, open with MKV Tool Nix, and you'll see all the components that make up this video con um, container. We've got the, con the video. I'm not a professional YouTuber and I'm stumbling over my own words and I'm just going to keep going. So we've got the video component. We have the audio component. Now if you had multiple audio tracks, you could uncheck them to get rid of them. We're going to get rid of all the non-English subtitles. So I'm just using my down arrow key and my space bar to do that quickly. Now this is where you need to check to see if they're flagged properly. So let's click on the one that's already labeled forced. This name doesn't really matter much. What is important is that the language is set correctly and that this forced dis display flag says yes, which it does. Same with a hearing impaired labeled SDH. We want the hearing impaired one flagged yes, and it's not in this file. And then there's nothing really to worry about with the default one. And you could set any subtitle to be the default subtitle, but that's more for a, a video app like VLC and not Plex. Plex will go off your server settings based on the identified subtitles. So this is nice, but it could just say forced because Plex is going to know it's an English subtitle based on this. And even VLC will know based on this. It doesn't need the name English in its title. So this is easy to save. You simply check the start multiplexing button at the bottom and you'll see that the bar just advances. We're not converting any video. We're simply rearranging the bits or, or, or the flags of each part of the container file or removing them. So now if I close this down, we have a duplicate file and if I had removed a bunch of audio tracks that would actually shrink the file size. Okay, so now we're left with those three subtitles and we know that the fourth subtitle was flagged properly for Plex, but the SDH one wasn't. So we've, we fixed a minor issue, but you're really concerned with the forced one, or most people are, is, are really concerned with the forced one. So short and sweet, John, I don't know what's embedded inside your files, and to fix something you already have in the server, you may have to copy it back to a computer to be able to open it with VLC, but going forward, you can check before you add the movie to the server. So hopefully this will help you out, give you more knowledge, and again, that on-demand subtitle feature, it's, it's garbage. You gotta have real subtitles on your server. I've moved everything from a Synology DS1019 NAS to a 1520 NAS, 5,000 movies. I went through it with a fine tooth comb. I started last, I don't know, November, October, whenever I got it in and rebuilt everything. 
and I upgraded all my media file names with FileBot, which is how I get names like this. And if I was missing subtitles, I went out and found them. I'm just recently moving people over to the new server now because it was a lot of work to get all that straight. Um, but I have a better server for it, and it's easy going forward. I bet you if you check my server out of 5,000 plus movies in my main directory, I bet you I'm only missing maybe a dozen or two dozen subtitles for all those movies. Some you just can't find a subtitle for. But if you could find one, I found one. And look, I have an update available. So hopefully this helps, and let me know if it did. Thanks for watching.